Hey guys, what's up? Taylor here. Uh, so today I wanted to start off my video series on Let's Go To. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I do have a blog and it's all about travel and places that I've been to and everything. And basically what I put in there is, you know, money saving tips, what I do when I travel, where I go to, things to do, you know, places to see, stuff like that. Um, I try to make it to what there's plenty of stuff that is affordable and stuff that does cost money and stuff that is free so that way there's there's plenty for like everyone to do right because the whole point of like traveling and vacation vacationing is that you know you have stuff to do while you're there because it really kind of sucks to like you know travel and not have anything to do so whenever i travel i always try to find fun stuff free stuff i go to lots of parks beaches things like that um whenever i travel museums because a lot of times in a lot of places museums can be free uh so either way but today's video we're going to be going to phuket thailand this was one of my favorite trips that I've ever taken. I loved it. I was there for six days. It is the longest that I've ever flown because it was like 14 and a half hours to Shanghai and then an and then like a layover and then like another five hours to Phuket or four hours, whatever. It was exhausting. I hate flying and flying for that long is, it's brutal. Let me tell you, brutal. Um, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Anyway, so, uh, but Phuket was one of like the best places that I've ever been to. I loved it. I did so much stuff. I truly kind of um, was out of character there in terms of the experiences that I had and everything that I did. Normally, I'm, I mean, I'm a very kind of like quiet and reserved person for the most part. And I'm also kind of like anxious and nervous about doing like everything. And I actually did like a lot there, um, which one of the bad results of that was that when I tried early in the morning one day to go and kind of explore and whatnot and hike like by myself before anyone was there I ended up spraining my ankle because I was in like the woods and scared of all the signs that said poisonous insects and stuff because I'm a coward but either way I had a great time so let me go ahead and basically what I'm kind of doing is um just putting my blog which i'll link down below so be sure to click on it and and subscribe to the list and everything um but uh basically what i put in the blog i'm kind of putting in the video and then providing more of an explanation as well okay uh so first thing to know is that if you're a u.s citizen it's very cheap in thailand especially in phuket um it's not as expensive as it is at like at like bangkok right now just because phuket is still kind of like an up and coming sort of um travel destination and whatnot so it's still pretty cheap there so right now currently the u.s dollar to the bot which is what they use in uh, thailand is one dollar is 32.90 baht so that's pretty good i mean it like food and stuff was very cheap it didn't cost me much of anything food there is very cheap um my hotel was super cheap it, it barely cost me anything so it's definitely like the place to go for like a cheap vacation and there's so much to do and like that costs very little money or is free and it's quite amazing uh so i planned the trip a few months in advance actually i want to say like two months i think is when i bought my ticket and it was like six hundred dollars round trip uh and i bought my ticket from expedia so yeah totally worth it very cheap the only thing that made it slightly more expensive was that my ticket was from la because that was the cheapest so actually what i did is i bought two separate tickets i bought a ticket from dallas to la and then my round trip ticket i actually bought from la to Phuket and then back and then I bought another ticket from LA back to Dallas so you know I bought like three different tickets and I'm gonna go ahead and say you know tip uh, a good tip whenever traveling is try to typically buy one-way tickets usually buying one-way tickets where you're going is going to be cheaper unless you're going out of the country then a lot of times it might be cheaper to just buy a round trip ticket out of the country but if you have to go to like a different airport like let's say you don't have an international airport where you are or you're probably going to end up flying inevitably out of L um, LAX or JFK or whatever to leave the country then buy a ticket to that airport separately from the ticket that you buy to go out of the country I have found it to be cheaper 
Anyway, so I did that, and then I ended up deciding to get a rental car. That was typical rental car prices. I went through Hertz, so it was like 20 bucks or whatever. I will be making posting a video eventually about my experience driving there. It wasn't good. It was terrifying and brutal, just <laughs> gonna say. It was super fun, super worth it. I highly recommend getting a rental car and doing that whole experience. Um, I feel like Phuket was slightly less busy than like a major city. Like I probably wouldn't get a rental car in like a Shanghai or even like Bangkok or whatever. But in Phuket, I feel like there was enough people for it to be scary, but not so many people that I was just not moving and it was unbearable to drive around, okay? Uh, so anyway, so let's just uh, go in. So after getting there, going through passport control and everything, which took for ever but i also arrived at like one o'clock in the morning um then i went to my hotel the hotel i got was the tent it was amazing like it was super cute in in phuket they have like very small hotels so they don't i mean they have hotels like on the other side of the island where like the all the party side and everything is where that all that stuff is they have over there but i wanted to stay away from that i don't really club or anything else like that i don't want to be over there but they have regular hotels over there but in the rest of the island they have like smaller ones and this one i think was like a 12 or 13 room hotel um and it was very big for the price i, I was paying it was 39 dollars a night or you know i think like 1200 baht um which all in all was like 236 dollars because i was there for six nights um so 7300 baht that's nothing for you know, it was like a th I would say three and a half four star hotel and it was really cute they had like candy in the lobby um and it, it was just very cute like the room was actually really big it had a nice tv and the wi-fi worked really well like there was actually like a wi-fi router in my room which I thought was really cool and I think that was kind of like for everyone um like everyone had one in their room or whatever so it was like really neat and I loved it it was fantastic highly recommend staying there and it's like really, was like right around the corner from like a little mini shopping mall um and there was i think like you know a bus stop or whatever somewhere close by as well and it was like down the street from old phuket town so it was like kind of by everything and um it was also kind of more so in the middle of the island so i could kind of like drive around to wherever i needed to go and it didn't take an extremely long time so that was fantastic on my first day there the first thing i went to do was of course go to the big buddha so the big buddha was like super amazing it was like just out of this world and the view from the big buddha is breathtaking like i loved every bit of that um and basically there, there's actually kind of a ton of stuff you can do i donated to the buddha actually twice because i mean anytime you spend any money there it's a donation but um i actually donated and then wrote my name on like a piece of um what's going to be made into like the, either the floor or the wall um so that's pretty cool and that will like always be there i guess i wrote i mean i wrote it in sharpie it probably won't always be there but still that's neat to like have helped and you can go and pray in there uh you can get blessed by a monk um you there there's a whole bunch of artwork and different buddha stuff and statues to look at and and the view is just i mean the view is out of this world of like phuket and the islands and everything totally like amazing to go to so you definitely have to do that um and that's also free, so something great that's free to do. Uh, after that, then I went to the, um, uh, I don't know how to say it, but Wat Chalong Temple, Wat Chalong Temple. It's um, one of them, they have about like 30 some odd temples there. And uh, this one is one of the bigger ones. And it's one of the better ones to go to in terms of like out of, uh, they're, they're all good but it has like you know the most stuff to see and it's very beautiful you know, lots of gold lots of just I mean it, it was such a unique experience you know to go in through the temple and everything I'm not a very huge spiritual person in terms of like praying and going into altars and things like that but you know I did go in there um, I did light some incense and everything so I, I kind of got that experience you know and there was this like uh neat sort of uh 
uh, little, how, I don't know, stairway, like ladder sort of thing that you could climb like a little separate building in front of the temple. And it had like a bell, like it had a drum, drum on the second level and then a bell on like the third level. And I climbed all the way to the top, which was terrifying because claustrophobia and heights and it just, it was very narrow and very tiny, but it was so worth doing. And I love that. So that was, that was great. Then I had to get some lunch. I went to, so Limelight is the mall that's actually like right around the corner from the tent and they have like several food places. Even like, they actually have like a McDonald's there. It's like a mini McDonald's so it doesn't have everything. But you know, in case like you're homesick or you wanna get something that you know exactly what you're eating versus trying all the local stuff, which I always recommend trying local stuff. You're, you're on vacation, try local stuff. Anyway, but I got like this chicken noodle egg sort of and oh god it was just amazing and i mean the it was a huge bowl of it too huge bowl it had like the egg it had pieces of chicken it had noodles and uh, vegetables and stuff in it it was 60 baht which is two dollars like for a huge lunch and i mean that also included like i got a coke as well so yeah like love that uh, then after that, I went to Monkey Hill. Monkey Hill is super cool. It, a lot of people will actually like walk up it, but I, I ain't doing that. A bitch is lazy. But uh, it's really cool that it like is a huge hill with, you guessed it, like monkeys, like towards the middle and at the very top there are macaw monkeys. Okay, maca q. I don't know. There, there are very cute monkeys, and I actually went like interacted with them. I didn't actually get any fruit. You can get like fruit, like bananas and stuff, to like give to them, and I kind of like forgot, so I didn't get any. But um, yeah, it was really cool. Like I, I saw a bunch up really close at everything, and like there's people feeding them and stuff. It's really neat. Like it's a very neat sort of experience. I'd highly recommend going there, and it's free. So day one, so far, you've only spent six bucks come on like and that that was a very full day very full day on to day two I went and had breakfast at pancake corner that was amazing I will never I know it's a very European thing but I will never understand having baked beans with breakfast ever I did eat these with this breakfast because it was amazing but I will never understand it and I don't think I'm gonna support it it's, it's just a, it's wrong. But it was super good. I love Pancake Corner. Ugh, it was super good. Like, definitely eat that. Kind of forgot how much that was, but I know it wasn't that expensive. Uh, then after that, I went to the uh, Prom Thep Cape. That's like the point at the end of the island, and it's this huge viewpoint. Oh, it was beautiful. I actually got there like super early in the morning too. And there was like almost no one there. It was amazing. I got like such great videos and shots and everything. Definitely go to that. And there's um, an elephant shrine there as well where you can see like a whole bunch of different like elephant statues and stuff. That was really cool, very pretty. Afterwards, we went to the F uh, Phuket Trick Eye Museum. This was actually very neat. Um, it's so it's kind of by old Phuket town and basically it's a 3d museum of like paintings and, and stuff and it, like a lot of it's painted onto the the walls in the ground and then you can actually like, stand in the pictures and be a part of it and it was like really neat and there's actually like next to where all the pictures are there's actually like um, a picture of someone else showing you where to sit or stand or whatever so that way in the picture you look like a part of it and it was very neat and I actually like when I went there was actually someone that offered to walk around and take the pictures for me so that way they can like they can tell me where to stand and everything to get like the perfect picture it was super cool and I got some like amazing 3d pictures out of it I absolutely loved that like it was super awesome and that was only 450 baht which is like 14 bucks so definitely definitely do that I mean that just for me so if you're going as a family I think they had like a family sort of um, discount or whatever but I don't know what that was <laughs> then after that I went to old Phuket town this place was super awesome it was very very colorful and you know we love a good colorful place and there was like a ton of graffiti oh my god there was like one of my favorite pieces of graffiti I've ever seen I love me some graffiti 
and it was a, like a huge bird and everything. It was beautiful, super colorful. I loved that. And uh, old food, there's plenty of like shops and restaurants and stuff and places to like see down there. It's just something to definitely go and like walk around and like just just kind of walk around. And it was only a couple blocks away from my hotel. So it, it was kind of amazing to, a very close amazing place to go to. Afterwards, um, at night, I ended up going to the Phuket Town Sunday Night Market. Now, there's a whole bunch of night markets here. It's a very big thing. This one I went to just because it was actually, like, the closest to me. Um, but, yeah, it was very cool. It was extremely packed. I think I went there at, like, um, 9, 10 o'clock at night. And um, you can just go and walk around, and they have everything there. I mean, they, they have they have furniture. They have food. They have clothes. They have selfie sticks. They, they have, like just everything of big flea market kind of looking thing and everyone just has different uh tables and stuff it's very neat it's definitely some, like an experience worth going to definitely go to a night market somewhere in phuket on to day three so with day three i went to the glass house restaurant for breakfast absolutely stunning so it's actually a hotel but then they have a restaurant that's a part of the hotel but you can actually go eat in it and it's called the glass house and like the entire thing is made out of glass and it's just like it's kind of like right in the middle of the street i, I actually it was actually like a couple blocks away from my hotel i walked to it in the morning and everything around is glass and then like the ceiling has like a whole bunch of like umbrellas and stuff it's hanging there at the top of the ceiling and it was like the neatest thing and it was like very beautiful and then right in the middle is this huge tree that's that they, that's just like been growing and it's just right the restaurant was like built around it and it was like amazing and it's beautiful to go to i think i i got some like cereal and watermelon and some like noodles and rice like they didn't have like much when it came to like breakfast i think you could like make your own waffles or whatever but i wasn't like extremely hungry but um it was like 500 baht to get in which is about like 16 dollars. so it was, it's kind of an expensive breakfast um i think if you're like a guest at that hotel it's free um but I wasn't, but it's, you're paying for being in, like, the restaurant, and it was, like, super worth paying for, honestly, like, amazing, and it's an all-you-can-eat, so, it, you know, it's, you know, it, you don't have to get, like, just what I got, like, it's all-you-can-eat, so you can keep getting more, or whatever, you know, anyway, so then after that, I went to, um, Oyan Beach, I went there very early, there wasn't really anybody there, but it was, like, really cool that, um, it's, like, you had to drive kind of up the mountain to get to it and everything. It's very beautiful. It's actually kind of, like, more of, like, a port, and there's, like, a bunch of ships and stuff that were just kind of, like, chilling in the water. That was, like, really neat to go to, and I got some amazing pictures out of it. Like, it was more, and the great thing about this was, is that, um, there, like, there was a different parts of the beach, and I was on a part, because it was my, like, more or less, like, a port area, there wasn't really any people there at all, and there really wouldn't be. However, you could actually, like, go around the corner, and, um, then there was, like, a ton, there was, like, the actual, like, public beach, because it was, like, kind of by hotels and stuff. So, it was pretty nice, because it was kind of, like, your own little private beach, but then if you wanted to be around people, you can, it wasn't too far of a walk. Uh, so then, uh, afterwards, I went to, uh, Khao Rang Hill. This place was just, um, basically a viewpoint. It's, like, a really good viewpoint of the city. Go up the mountain and, or the hill or whatever. And it was very pretty. And the actual cool thing about this is there were monkeys at this place as well. And it actually had, like, a pretty neat walking path because there was like a like a whole bunch of jungle gyms and stuff for the monkeys and so you could actually like go and kind of like walk down that and see them like playing on like the different sort of like jungle gym things for them that was like super cool I love that so that was definitely and it's like free to go there a lot of what I did in Phuket was free that's why it's a cheap destination to go to because do all this great stuff I mean come on so after that, I went to the Hailing Ong statue, uh, which is free too. It's in like a park in old Phuket town. And it's really cool because basically there's this Chinese legend that the island of Phuket is a golden sea dragon. And basically that's what this statue is. It's the, the dragon that Phuket is made out of. Um, According to the legend, the snout of the dragon is at the southern end of Phuket at Liam Promethe, 
Promethep, with the heart somewhere in Phuket Town, where I was staying. And lastly, a range of hills forms the part of creature's long curving body, which ends with a tail that curls back on itself. Um, so basically, I guess if you're looking at a map, that's kind of what Phuket looks like, this dragon. Um, there's like a whole story of, you know, that the creature like rested there and became Phuket. You can look that up if you want, but it's pretty neat. It's part of their history and their culture, and they actually have, like, a huge festival every year about it, and it happens in this park and everything, so, yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, then after that, probably the most expensive thing that I did, and 100%, you have to do it, like, if you spend money on nothing else, do this, is um, I went to Fantasy, and Fantasy is basically the history of Phuket's like told Phuket and Thailand and everything uh told into it and it's kind of like a little mini it, it is a theme park it's a theme park of Thailand and of Phuket and there's like a bunch of things to see and do there like I, I went through like a little mini zoo and you can see like a white tiger and you can ride elephants and they have like really good food and stuff like part of your admission it includes like a um buffet and it's amazing food good god I was so fat oh it was so amazing but, um, yeah, it was, like, epic. But then, like, you go there, and there's a huge show. It's, like, an hour long or whatever, and it has all types of stuff. It's, it's like, a circus show, and there's... But it, it tells, like, a storyline and history, and it was amazing. There's dancing, there's singing, there's fireworks, there's animals, and I, you have to go to that. You just... I cannot stress enough how amazing fantasy was. Like, amazing. But it was $70 for me, just me. Um, so that's like 2200 baht. I went with a friend, but it was still like we paid for our tickets separately. So I don't know in terms of family prices, whatever. I know that they have pricing for that. I don't know what it's going to be. But yeah, just for me, it was like 2200 baht. But it's, oh, it go to it. Like definitely, definitely go. And... You know, other than that, that's I, I kind of did a lot of the same stuff again. I went to a couple more places that I didn't include in here, but you know, I kind of wanted to have my own sort of experiences, and I was there for almost a week, so there was you know a day here and a day there where I didn't do anything or didn't do much of anything because I had to have time to rest. And unfortunately, I also lost some time because um, I sprained my ankle which was extremely sad because I actually wanted to go to like an elephant sanctuary. Like one of the things that I, I had planned was I was going to go with my friend on my um, second to last day there and I was going to go to the elephant sanctuary and then spraining my ankle ruined that and it so wasn't worth it. I was trying to get a picture of this waterfall and I got scared, turned too fast, fell. I'm a weak person. I should not be in the woods by myself. But anyways, so... I had an amazing experience in Phuket, and from my understanding, when I've watched and looked at other people that have gone there, they've had similar experiences. It's definitely a great place to go to. Definitely a place that you can vacation and do solely on your own or go with friends and family. Either way, it's it was amazing, and you know, on to end this video, I'm gonna ask any of you all, have any of you all ever been to Phuket? And if so, how was it? Did you go to any of these places or did you go to a place that was, you feel better or some place that I definitely should have gone to because I'm definitely going back to Phuket. So if you wanna let me know of a place that I definitely need to go to or something that I definitely need to do while I'm there, let me know down below, comment, and just don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know if you like this and I'll keep making more. So thanks and look forward to seeing you guys and I'll see you guys around the world. Bye.